Welcome everybody to a very special crochet tutorial right here, right now. My name is Michael Selleck and I'm known online as Mikey from the Crochet Crowd and I literally have taught thousands of people on how to be able to crochet from the ground up. Now my friends over at Bernat.com have presented a brand new pattern that you've never seen before because it's in my hands and we're providing this pattern absolutely for free. Go in the description of this video, you'll find a link and you'll be able to get that pattern right there. If you're a very visual person, I'm doing the whole project right from start to finish on camera and you can also still click the link, print off the directions and just check it off as you go. Now, we're using the Bernat Super Value yarn, so it's inexpensive yarn. We're using three colors. We're using clay, deep straw and rouge. So now let's get working on this tutorial. today's tutorial we're going to be working on this mermaid purse and look at these fabulous colors. There is a combination of three colors of the Bernat Super Value yarn. We first of all start off with clay, then we move to deep straw, and then we move to rouge. And together these colors are really quite trending at this moment. What we have here is a crocodile stitch or a scale stitch, and then we move up then to single crochet, and then we're going to be working on this handle. So we're going to be working from the bottom, going to the middle, going to the top, and then finishing off with the flower. You're going to notice within this tutorial that the sealing of the bottom here is one of the last steps involved, and you're going to be able to follow this right from start to finish with me right now. So let's now get started on this particular project. In today's project. tutorial, we're going to be working with the Bernat Super Value yarn. We have right up here deep straw, we have clay, as well as we have rouge. They are a 7 ounce ball, 197 grams. You should be able to find these in the stores near you. If not, you can always check out Bernat.com and order these products. Finally, online. if you're looking for the pattern for this particular project, you can always look at the more information of this video. I put in a link so you can be able to find it. I normally print these things off when I'm actually at home and what I just do off camera and even on camera I just take my highlighter and just cross them off as they go therefore I never miss any stitches or any steps along the way so now let's get started on the beginning of this project Let's get started on this tutorial. I've chosen a five and a half millimeter crochet hook in order to work with it today. It's also a size H if you're looking for the US measurements. We're going to wrap it around our finger twice to start off with a slip knot and I'm going to pinch it down here as well as through the back. This is the back of my hand forward. I take the back, I move it forward, I take the new back and move it over the front and I'm going to slide in my hook. Now it says to chain 84, don't worry I'm not going to make you sit through 84, but I'm just going to get you started. So we're just going to rowboat back towards you and then through. So one, rowboat, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I want you to go all the way to 84. We're going to meet back up. Uh, also the rowboat action could be car uh, considered yarn over as well uh, in technical terms in technical terms just in case you know it that way. So I've just got you to go to 10 so go all the way to 84 we'll meet back up and we'll start on with the first so we're round. now back and what it's asking you to do is to slip stitch but you got to take care of not twisting the chain. So you just got to just look at it and make sure this chain is not going in circles and if it is we just want to straighten it out and it will make your life a lot easier when you go to slip stitch. We're just going to look at it and make sure and what we just need to do, once you know that it's not twisted up, you're just going to join it by just slipping in the hook in the front, like that, and just grabbing the material coming from the yarn ball, and join them together, just like that. So therefore you have your first one. So this is actually the base of the purse. This is actually the full circle. And eventually what's going to happen is that you're going to be using this line then to seal it shut at the bottom. So let's move on to your Moving next along, step. we now want to chain up three. So we're just going to begin that process. So chain up three. So one, two, and three. And we just want to continue now in the direction. So this is where we came from and we slip stitched it. So we want to go back in this direction here. And we want to be able to double crochet ourselves all across this chain. So we're just going to wrap and we're just going to go to the very next chain available like this. I want to seal off this little piece at the end so I'm just going to leave it on top of the line therefore it'll get trapped into position and we just want to double crochet ourselves as usual. And so we're going to double crochet ourselves all the way on this line until we get back and we start coming back in this direction here where we're going to do another slip stitch and then we're going to begin to do the crocodile stitch 
on that at that particular point. So do that and we'll meet you back up and we'll keep you going. We're now all the way back and there is 84 double crochets on here and I actually uh, counted to make sure. So now before I slip stitch these together I want to make sure that this is not twisted up and you can see it's like a Mobius scarf right now. So one side just needs to be twisted so that it can just be all consistent. So I'm just looking for it. So this is the top, 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 top. Okay, let's turn it around. So we just want to make sure that it's like a sand belt, that it's all completely flat before I go to fasten it together. Because if not, you'll be in big trouble. So now we're just going to slip stitch it to the top of the beginning chain that we started with. And call that step done. So now we're going to move up to your next step, which is round number two. And we're going to start now doing the crocodile, crocodile um, stitch, or the tears stitch, or whatever you want to call it. So let's do that next. I've just slip stitched and I'm ready to go and I'm going to create my first scale and the scale is going to go down the front post here so directly right above where we've slip stitched we're going to go down the scale or down this post and then we're going to come up the other post just like so so let's get started we're going to start off always when you're doing this when you start is chaining of one and I want to come around and we're going to do a front post double crochet five times so all I'm going to do just wrap the material or yarn and go underneath the post back with the other side, grab it, and we're just double crocheting around the post. And what's easier to do is if, if you just grab the, uh, the project like this, kind of fold it in half, and just work your way down like that. It's just much easier. So that was two, three, four, and five. Okay, we're now at the bottom of the scale, so we're always going to chain one, so regardless of what you're doing. And we, wanna come, we just want to turn this project again so that we're seeing the right post uh, next to it, and it's right there. And I just want to wrap the material, and I want to come in so that you're going toward the middle of the scale. Okay, that's how you do the crocodile or scale stitch. And you want to double crochet on the front post five times, and this is leading back up toward the top of the project. So that's four, and we have five. Okay, so there is your first scale done, just like there. So we have to always, when we get to the top of this part, we always chain one. So looking back down, we just kind of fold it in half. We want to count and get five posts away. So one, two, three, four, five. And what we want to do is that we want to crochet on the six one. So we want to skip all of the five in between and crochet on the six. So we're just going to, again, double crochet on the front post. I just kind of put in my hook so I can get it stabilized. And we're going to do front post double crochet again all the way down for five. Okay, and there's five all the way down, and once you're at the bottom, just like before, you want to chain one, and I want to turn the project, and I want to come up the other post that is directly right beside it. And again, I'm just turning the material so it's just easier to work with, and again, it's just around the post for five double crochets going up. So once you're back up at the top, you want to chain one again, and then reach over and skip five posts on the line or on the project and then uh, attach yourself to the six. So now that I'm back at the top, I want to chain one. And again, we just want to unfold it so we can count it. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the sixth one here and the seventh will be where the next scale is going to be. So continue that all the way around. We'll meet back up where we'll slip stitch and move on to your next level. Now that we're back all the way around, again at the top, we want to make sure that we chain one when we come across, and we want to slip stitch it to where you did the chaining of one here on the scale. We just want to go right in, just like there, and that's exactly where we're going to slip stitch. So that is how you just finish off that particular rotation. The way that we move up when it comes to doing these rows is that this next section is going to be moving over so every time we do these scales we're actually going to be working on a diagonal so that they're in between each other so what we need to do is that we need to slip stitch ourselves all the way over to the middle of the next section way over here and how we do that is that we just go into the 
to a stitch there and then we just pull through and through and so we can even go in the center here it doesn't really matter and we just want to slip all the way to the middle section so we just go into each stitch and slip until we get to the middle one so there's actually five in a row so you'll just look for the third one you'll want to go in the third one just like I'm showing you here now and now we want to begin to chain up so let's chain up three so one two and three and we want to come back down into where we just started so right down in the bottom and we want to double crochet into that same spot and this is just uh, the center of the next scale so the next scale will then be drooping in between these other two sections here so when we're looking across that we want to make sure that we put two more double crochets in then we go into the center two more double crochets in and then we're back at the center piece where we're going to double it up again so let's begin to do that so we're just going to double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the very next one okay and we're now in the center point so we just go right into the middle the whole section and now we've got to put two more double crochets on this side you'll notice that there's two lines so you want to make sure you stay on that back one in order to make this work okay and so we're putting two more in and now we should be back at the center point which we are so that one there is going to get two double crochets right in the same stitch and again that will be the center point for when we go up so that's all you have to do so you got to go one two center one two and then you'll be back at the center again and then you'll put two double crochets and you do that all the way around so do that and when we back up but when we go to move on to the next step Okay, we've come all the way back around and we're almost all the way back around and I'm just finishing up the final few stitches before we carry on to your next level. Now when you notice when we started we actually came right down into the beginning stitch. That means that this is a double, this is the center of the next one that will be drooping down in between. So just like we did before, we have to make sure that there's two double crochets on this side of this particular scale there. So we just want to go in there as normal. and we just want to slip stitch it to the top of the beginning chain that we started with okay so just right at the top and we just want to pull everything together so that will complete that round there and this round really isn't shown it's just a behind the scenes as you just stabilize this entire pattern so now what we're going to do is move on to your next step